Happy Monday, Grand Rising, and welcome to the Monday Morning Message for Beautiful Leaders. I hope you all had a good weekend. I'm Toby Tompkins, the CEO of Safio Inc. And um, today's message is not a new topic, but I think it's an important topic for people who are trying to lead with more care, transparency, and trust, the key hallmarks of a beautiful leader or beautiful organization. But I think the topic that I want to have you think about today is the power of apology. Um, when was the last time you, whether it was intentionally or unintentionally, did something or said something that you later realized was wrong and that produced some level of harm in the life of your employees or your colleagues or um, someone who's relying upon your leadership. Take a moment and think about that. Now, what didn't you do? Did you it, do something that let that person know that the relationship that you have with them really matters, that it's important to you, that it's something that has priority in your leadership? Did you acknowledge that you've learned from that misfortune or that mistake or that um, bad decision? So much of those issues remain unresolved and unaddressed when we don't apologize, when we don't say, hey, um, I've given this some thought and there are probably some things I could have done differently. And I realize that the decisions that I made or the actions that I took had an impact on you that was not necessarily the impact I hoped for. And so I apologize. It's that simple. And yet so many leaders don't do it. They don't do it when they look at the consequences of their decisions on their employees or a segment of their employees. They don't really apologize for many of the things that their teams don't execute properly around. And if you can simply just find the words to say, I'm sorry, you can fundamentally shift an equation from negative to positive. You can repair, recover, and regenerate the spirit and the commitment of your team. It doesn't make you weak to apologize. It actually makes you impenetrable because people know that you care enough about them to think about the consequences of your actions and your decisions in their lives. Now, what we do do a lot of as organizations is we express our regrets about things that are happening to people in our workforce or in our communities as an apology or as something that we're sorry about. And that's important, but that's not the same thing because our egos aren't attached to those kinds of things. So when we make statements of solidarity, when we talk about the regrets, um, or how sorry we feel um, for things that are going on in the society that impact our workforce. Sometimes that can feel like an apology in the minds of leaders, but it's not, it's not. When your ego is worth more than the relationships, when your need to be innocent, when your need to be not guilty is more important than the relationships that you hold with your stakeholders, you have just missed an opportunity for a beautiful apology. So I want you to think about what undone apologies are you living with right now? What is an opportunity for you to apologize this week that could make a difference for how you build the relationship with your stakeholder group moving forward? Okay, that's my message this Monday. I hope everyone has a great week. If you have any questions, Feel free to send them to Ask Toby at Safio. We'll be responding to those questions on Thursday in our Ask Toby session. And take care.
Bye-bye.